What up, Snapchat fan? I'm back with another bullshit story that BST for your bitch ass. You ready? Plop your ass down. Lay your ass down. Kick your feet up. Get ready. Have a seat. Kick up your feet. And tune in to my shit, motherfucker. Let's check out what I got on my body right now. I got that red chocobo shirt. On my torso, man. Shit looking fresh. It's hard to find Final Fantasy merch. Check out that hat. That white hat. Chocobo on that bitch. Got a Moogle riding on him. Y'all don't know jack shit about that. Anyway, got that bandana underneath this white hat. Got them black gauges feeling fresh. So here we go. Alright, check it out. So, some of y'all may remember homie justin swafford if you don't remember him refer to season uno episode this justin swafford is the one with which i had a near jail experience when we was throwing booze balls over the motherfucking road i'm gonna take you back to a time back in the year of our lord 1998 when there was a little thing you might know called Pokemon. And that was a big deal. The trading card game, the TCG. I had a fresh fucking binder full of hollows and first editions. Mewtwo, motherfucker. Psyduck, Pikachu, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. I had them all fresh and looking good. I even had some promo cards with the little promo printed in the bottom corner. Anyway, I never played a single fucking game of Pokemon. Never won no battles. Never had no battles. I was into the collection part of the Pokemon craze. I think it could be proven that most people that had Pokemon cards back in the day didn't know jack shit about battling them. We was just all collecting them and shit. Anyway, I have my fresh fucking set. Had been collecting for years. Several years. But there was something about Pokemon that the teachers and principals did not like at all. There was a rumor that I had heard while I was going to school there in Keller about a kid who had shot another kid over a holographic Charizard card. Y'all remember Charizard? He was a big ball, a big boss, motherfucker. When you had that card, you were like, I could battle and win every single battle. Even though I ain't battling, just so y'all know, if I whip out that motherfucking Charizard, you're all going down. So a kid popped another motherfucking kid over a Charizard, dude. And after that, Pokemon was outlawed in the schools. If you was caught with them cards, you was going to the Prancy. You was going straight to the Prancy. And when I was a kid, I think I told y'all this, I thought the principal was going to cut you up and perform dissections and bullshit on you if you had to go to his office. So I was like, I best keep my Pokemon cards at home. But one thing I did do while I was at school that was Pokemon related was I drew Pokemon, bitch. All the fucking bitches creaming and screaming for some Pokemon drawings, fool. They was wanting them, dude. But anyway, I'm getting off on some narratives that don't fucking pertain, really, to this story. And advancing the story is what I'm trying to do right now, so stay tuned, bitch. So one time, this fool, Justin Swafford, was over at my house. He was like, dude. I want to see your Pokemon cards, man. You've been telling me about this fresh set you got, son. I'm trying to see them holographic motherfucking Bulbasaur's and fucking Blastoises and shit. I'm trying to see that shit. I kept on telling him. I was like, dude, I don't know where they are right now, fool. I ain't trying to go on a Pokemon manhunt for the motherfucking cards just because you're over and shit. So we proceeded to go back to playing some sort of Bart Simpson game on the motherfucking SNES. It was some sort of game where you time traveled and shit and rode on a skateboard and got choked out by Homer if you fucking lost and it was a game over. And after that, couldn't find my Pokemon cards nowhere. Next day, looking for them, searching in bookshelves and toy boxes and under the television and in the VCR. Couldn't find my cards. Started flipping and freaking, having anxiety attacks, talking about, Mom, where's my fucking Pokemon? A few days later, I was over at the homie Justin Swafford's house before school. I was like, man, 
I lost my motherfucking Pokemon cards the other day, dude. I can't find them nowhere. I was young. I was naive. I didn't think about the possibility that Justin Swafford was involved. You know how they say that every serial killer and thief and crook eventually wants to be caught? Well, this fool Justin Swafford was like, Hey, can you grab me a pencil out of my backpack real quick? I was like, shit, man, I guess. So, I went to this fool's backpack. He was like, outside pocket, bro. That's where you'll find the pencils. Unzipped the outside pocket and out flew some shit that pissed me off. And you don't want to piss me off. Little backstory. I had a Mewtwo card. It was holographic. I had got it in a booster pack, I think. Anyway, I was pissed that Mewtwo had such low HP. He only had like 70 or 60. Meanwhile, Charizard had like 400,000 HP. It was bullshit. Mewtwo's attacks were weak and stupid. So what I did, youthful and retarded, was I fucking put a number one in Sharpie marker in front of the 70 or 60 whatever, thus giving Mewtwo more HP than he was supposed to have. And you already know that when I unzipped that backpack, that outside pocket, Mewtwo fell out of that motherfucking pocket. And he had that mark, that Sharpie mark on him. And I knew that Justin Swafford was the one to blame. He had jacked my shit, dude. Pissing me off to levels of pissed off that I didn't know I was capable of. But you don't fuck with him, man's Pokemans, dude. You don't fuck with him. So, I grabbed that mechanical pencil, clicked it a few times until the lead was out like a needle. You remember. Ran over to Justin Swafford, took that mechanical pencil in my hand, jabbed it into his eye, deep into his skull and brain. And that motherfucker died on the spot. Blood pouring out of a brutalized eye socket. Justin Swafford reached up for my throat, tried to choke me. And in his dying breast, that fool was like, Why'd you mark on your Mewtwo? Psych, I did nothing of the sort. I wasn't gonna fucking stab no kid with a mechanical pencil. I tried to be passive about it. I was like, it's not a big deal or anything, dude, but why are my Pokemon cards in your shit? As I rummaged through that fucking outside pocket, I found all my cards, dude. I was like, why would you do a thing like this, fool? You're pissing me off. I made that motherfucker feel real criminal and real cruel and like a shitty friend. I just kept telling him, why, dude? Why would you steal my shit? Give it back to me. Gathered up my Pokemon cards. Left the building. Should have seen the near jail experience coming. Should have known. Don't ever trust a man named Justin Swafford. Never, dude. Never trust that man. If you're ever out there in the world and you encounter a dude named Justin Swafford, just remember these stories I've been telling you about how he's a thief, crook, and he'll run off if you get in trouble with the law. So it goes without saying. Justin Swafford, world's worst friend award, dude. Guy was scum. Anyway, got my Pokemon cards, got out of there. Was still friends with Justin because I was an idiot. Just to wrap this story up with the last experience I had with those Pokemon cars. Years later, I fucking gave them away to a friend. But apparently I had promised them to another friend already, but I had forgotten. So when I gave them to that friend, the other friend was like, oh, fuck this. And he fucking shoved that kid around and beat him up for being the one that got my Pokemon cards. It was so fucking sad, dude. But anyway, I ain't been into Pokemon for like maybe like 20 years now or something but apparently they're still making games and shit out of it some of y'all still play them and shit but man after all those experiences dude i was like pokemon shit probably just ain't for me motherfuckers want to steal them motherfuckers want to fight over them shit's ridiculous motherfuckers want to shoot kids over charizards dude it was the best of times and the worst of times so that's your goddamn bst Hope you liked it. I gotta lay down. Motherfuckers got a sort of case of lightheadedness right now for getting fired up about these Pokemon car stories. 
Anyway, that's it. Episode dos. Hope you liked it, bitch. <laughs>